So the eye is innervated by the same system that innervates all the sensation to our forehead and our face, the trigeminal system, and this system is also the system that innervates the dura that is felt to be involved in the migraine process. And so, uh, so the eye is, is innervated by the same system that is innervated by what we think is um, part of the migraine process. And yet, attention has not been brought to the eye and, uh, as much as it really deserves. Well, this is an interesting story. I was a visiting professor at the University of Zurich uh, for six months. I was the first Hedy Fritz Nigli Gassprofessorin. And um, I met this very charming medical student, Jan Koppel, and uh, he needed a project. And so I said, well, I've got this idea about just finding out how, what are the diagnoses or what causes eye pain in an eye clinic and in a neurology clinic. Because I'd looked at the literature and there's no paper that tells you, you know, what diagnoses are common. And so then when I came home, I recruited a very smart uh, and very industrious medical student, Chris Bowen, who is now an intern at the University of Utah Internal Medicine, but he's going into ophthalmology. And these two guys went through thousands of charts for one year between 2012 and 2013 to find, out, find a cohort of people with eye pain. And then they just elucidated what the common causes were. And in the eye clinic, it was really inflammation. Um, dry eyes, blepharitis, conjunctivitis, keratitis, corneal problems, uh, and some post-operative changes. And in the neurology clinic, it was really migraine. Over half of the people with eye pain in the neurology clinic actually had migraine. Uh, and optic neuritis was a second, the second most common cause of eye pain. And then there was a host of other things that caused eye pain in the neurology clinic in one year. Uh, and then he also looked at the characteristics. Uh, burning characteristics seemed to be more common with the people who had uh, inflammatory conditions. Stabbing conditions, stabbing eye pain was more common in people who had um, inflammatory or migraine. And then pain with eye movement was more common in people who had optic neuritis and some with dry eyes and a little bit with migraine as well. I was not at all surprised that the most common diagnosis that half the patients that came in with eye pain had migraine. What I was surprised is that in an ophthalmology clinic, they didn't diagnose migraine more. And I think in the ophthalmology clinics, they may be missing a lot of the diagnoses of migraine because migraine is such a prevalent disorder. You know, 20% of women, 10% of men approximately have migraine. And uh, again, that trigeminal system uh, is involved in the innervation of the eye and gives sensation to the eye. So there's no surprise to me that eye pain and migraine go together. I think for the neurology clinic, if somebody is complaining about um, eye pain, uh, I mean, obviously, if the eye is white and quiet, um, think about migraine. If the eye is red or angry, then call up your colleague in ophthalmology uh, and have them seen for conjunctivitis, keratitis, dry eye, or something like that.